Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War Definitive Edition crashing, not launching, not loading, lagging, freezing or black screen error on PC. So let's go through it. So the first method is to restart your PC. For that, go to the Windows icon over here, click on power and then select restart. So after restarting our system, now try to launch the game and check if it's working or not. If not, the second solution is to modify launch option. For that, go to Steam or wherever you have downloaded the game. Go to the library section. Select your game. Right click on it. Click on properties. Now go to the general under launch option. Here you need to type minus TX11 and then try to launch the game and check if it works. If not, then type minus DX12 and after that try to launch the game and see if it's working or not. If not, next solution is to update your graphics card. So for that, go to the search option over here, search for device manager. Now go below and expand display adapters, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. So it's saying the best drivers for your device are already installed. So if not, then you can simply update your drivers and after that try to play the game. Apart from this, users of NVIDIA and AMD users can easily get the link in the description I have provided. Just go through the links, copy them and paste in your, open the link that I have provided in the description. Just uh, after opening, select your graphics driver and from here you can easily download the latest drivers for your PC. For AMD users, simply go through this link. Select your drivers and download the latest versions of the drivers and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution helps you. Next is to verify integrity of game files for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then here you need to click on verify integrity of game files so after verifying the game files on your PC now try to launch the game and check if it's launching or crashing issue is resolved or not. Next solution is to run game as administrator. So for that, go to Steam. Under library section, select your game. Right click on it, click on manage, then go to the browse local file. So this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed. Select the game application, right click on it, click on properties. Now go to the compatibility tab. Then click on run this program as an administrator. And after that, hit on apply and OK. Now try to play the game and check if it works. If not, then click on run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7 and then hit on apply and OK and then check if the error is resolved or not. If not, then click on disable full screen optimization and then hit on apply and OK and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution has worked to fix the issue. If not, next is to allow the game through firewall. So for that, go to search option, search for Windows Defender Firewall click on allow an app or feature now click on change settings and after that you need to search for the game if it's listed over here if not then click on allow another app go to the browse section select your game application and add it to the list over here after adding it select the game make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok and now try to launch the game and see if it's playable now the next solution is to update windows so for that go to the search option over here search for check for updates and here you can see it's saying you are up to date if not you can simply click on check for updates option and it will find if there is any update available simply update your windows to the latest version and after that try to launch the game and check if it's working or not next is to install directx on your system so for that i have provided the link in the description just copy it and go to your browser and open this link After opening the link, now you need to click on download and this will download the uh, DirectX on your PC. After that, install this and then try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you. Next is to close unnecessary background tasks. So for that, go to the taskbar settings, click on task manager. Now under processes tab, you need to find the app that is of no use or consuming high resources simply select it 
right click on it and click on end task so after deleting the app from the background now try, now try to play the game and check if this solution has worked for you next is to install visual c++ file so for that i have provided the link in the description just go through it copy it and paste it in your browser open the link on your browser after opening it go below and from here you need to download the visual c++ files on your pc after that now try to play the game and check if it's working or not Next method is to disable antivirus program. So if you have any antivirus program installed on your PC, then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues. So this kind of antivirus programs can block the game and you cannot play. So it's suggested to check the settings of that particular program or disable your antivirus program. And after that, try to play the game. Hopefully this solution will work. If not, the final solution is to reinstall uh, the game. So for that, go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage and then click on uninstall option over here and finally click on uninstall so after uninstalling the game you need to restart your pc once after restarting launch steam then reinstall the game once and then try to play the game and see if it's working or not i hope all these solutions will help to resolve the issue you are coming across while playing warhammer 40000 dawn of war definitive edition on your pc so that's all for now in this video thank you